Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and I'm back with another installment of the Dreadnought series. And I'm here to put a stop to this nonsense. Bah! Capitalist pig dogs still playing with their dolls. They're action figures, you banana boat captain son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. El Presidente, what's your problem now? It is you that have the problem. A grown man playing with toys. Ah! <laughs> 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 Laugh it up while you can, you slack jaw. Hey, cut it out, Jess. You're gonna get me in trouble again. What are you so afraid of, gorilla? I talk like this all the time, and I never get in trouble. Of course, nobody messes with me. I'm a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. <sighs> Raz Holly, hit the music. It's almost like he's like a noodle. Yeah! <laughs> it's 1985, and Hasbro is going strong with the Real American Hero line. In fact, some of the most iconic characters in the line are introduced this year, including these two assholes. But that's for another video, because we're talking about the Dreadnoughts. And this year, we get three new Dreadnoughts, Buzzer, Ripper, and Torch. And if you ask me, thanks to the animated series, these guys are the core of the Dreadnoughts and are as synonymous with the group as Zartan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Zartan is expert of using pretty makeup. <laughs> Who is slackjawed now? <laughs> Listen up, Cuban Pete. We're not gonna sit around here and take this, are we, Gorilla? How about both of you shut the fuck up and let me do the review? Anyway, let's get started with Buzzer, who's probably my favorite of the three. With that receding hairline, the ponytail, and those mirrored aviators, you know this guy is a dirtbag just by looking at him. Let's take a look at the file card to learn more. And let's hope it's not as big of a disaster as Zartan's file card was. Okay, here we go. Code name, Buzzer. File name, Dick Blinken. Dick Blinken. Dick Blinken? Dick fucking Blinken. God. Damn it. Actually, it's Richard Blinken Smythe. It's quite common in England. But of course, you would have known that if you would have read the file card. Now wait just a goddamn minute! I saw you weaken him! There is a conspiracy! For what? So the ape with hole in his chin can trade secrets with the pathetic pig dog man-child? What secrets? Like how to make best tea party with dollies? <laughs> Seriously, how do all of you keep getting in my videos? Okay, moving on. The card goes on to mention that Blinken, a leftist sociology don, goes to Australia to research the outlaw MC phenomenon, only to get swept up in his research to the point that he becomes an outlaw biker himself. It goes on to say that due to various psychoses, Buzzer has an intense desire to rip apart expensive, quote, gigaws of technological society. What the fuck is a gigaw? It was so hot in the city that year you could fry a Boca burger on the sidewalk, see? And no amount of LaCroix could quench the naked city's thirst for justice. The man that came to my office that day claimed to be a military man from California. It was obvious hogwash, considering his penchant for feather boas and Minnesota accent. What was more puzzling was the message he gave me to decipher. A single word. Actually, a rudimentary dictionary search reveals the mystery. A gigaw, less common variant... Ooh, variant variant of the word Guga is defined as a showy thing, especially one that is useless or worthless. Well, there you go, Hasbro. You went out of your way to squeeze an obscure word into the file card and oxymoron yourselves. 
There can't be expensive technological gigaws if gigaws by definition are worthless. Unless he uses his chainsaw to cut up Furbies and fingerlings, which I don't think is what they were going for in 1985. Maybe they were talking about that creepy Teddy Ruxpin. I know I'd like to take a chainsaw to that little punk. Anyway, it goes on to say that his specialty is that he's a scavenger of the swamps and that he can cut through any metal, besides armor plate, with his chainsaw. How the hell is that a specialty? His chainsaw is the skilled one in this equation. And how much metal is he going to find in the swamp? Okay, fuck this file card. Let's take a look at why we're all here. The action figure. Alright, from 1985, here is Buzzer. And there he is in all of his glory. He's really, really cool. He's got the, these cool mirrored shades. He's got the basic articulation for, you know, the G.I. Joes from 1985. Um, you know, swivel arm, all that good stuff. He is an O-ring figure. This one is in pretty darn good condition. Um, I really like all the little features on him. He's got an awesome little ponytail right there. It gives him a lot of character. He has a receding hairline, <laughs> which is pretty cool too. And he's got this uh, this sort of uh, uh, fatigue jacket or fatigue shirt that the sleeves are cut off. And uh, he's got some grenades on a strap here, some medals for some reason, maybe a dog tag here in the front. He's got this cool like biker belt buckle, obviously. the the. The Dreadnoughts are a gang, a biker gang, or a or an outlaw motorcycle club, if you will. He's got these pants, these jeans, I guess, but they've got these uh, pads on them. Like, uh, I don't know if these are motorcycle pads or, or what, but they do add a cool little bit of interesting or interest to the, to the figure. And you can see here around the back, that's the strap goes through here. It goes underneath his... Uh, this little thing there. So this was actually like at one point a long sleeve shirt and uh, or a, a uh, you know t-shirt style sleeve shirt and he cut that off. He's also got this cool little tattoo right here. Um, it's kind of worn down. We'll get a better picture of that there. And yeah he's in pretty great condition and I like this figure a lot. That's why I decided to do him by himself. He's got some great accessories too. Comes with this chainsaw, as you can see. Totally unrealistic and ridiculous, but that's part of why I really like the Dreadnoughts. Um, it's unrealistic without being corny. Like, it's a cool, you know, chainsaw gun thing. And it's not really a gun. You, you got a handle right there. And you've got a what well, where the trigger would be, but there's no trigger, and I guess some sort of mechanism and a butt to hold it, and you can cut stuff up with this diamond tip chainsaw. Also, for the chainsaw, you're gonna need fuel. So he's got a gas can um, that goes on this little backpack. It fits right on his back, and actually gives him another cool, you know, cool look. And you can stick things through it. Um, like this, this little hammer on a chain that he has, and it's pretty cool. It's got like a little nick in it. <laughs> Guess he's been he's been breaking gigaws with this thing. <laughs> and it's got a nice little handle. He can actually hold his accessories, which is really cool. Because sometimes these figures, the you know the hand hole is a little too small, and you feel like you're gonna break their thumbs uh, sticking a, a gun or, or anything in there. Um, but with this one, he's okay. He can hold his stuff that he comes with. And I don't feel uh, scared at all uh, trying to do that with him. This figure in particular would be discontinued in 1987, and another version of Buzzer would not be made in the vintage line. A few more Buzzer figures would be made, but I'm sticking to the vintage line in this series. And he's too cheap to get them all. That's true, Jess. And what's also true is that we're out of time. So for Jess, El Presidente, the fanboy, and everybody else, I'm Dan Classic saying I'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music!
Shut up, Duke. 